Mm -hmm. I have to unbind. I have to unbind the string. You know, you can be doing sage or smart sticks with strings that you have not created. I not unbind them. You know what I'm saying? So this is a wand, this is a strand. So you know about the magic of the wand. It's a speedo. Yeah, they call it a speedo. You know a speedo has a needle. Uh, you a speedo has a needle. Now you know what we are talking about. Do I have sound before I proceed? Do I have sound? Uh, uh, anyone watching? I need to see a reaction on the screen to show that I'm live. You know what I'm saying? Todi kio gani na mogaabo? No to waji after kore to tiri na mogaabo. You know that would be a waste of the word. You know, and in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and God was the word. <laughs> Inside the beginning, in the beginning, every time you're in the presence of in. You are before something, so you are going into a formation. So, do I have sound? I don't know if I have sound. I'll start the video and I know I have sound. Either you do a reaction, either you post, you post what you call, uh, you post what you call thumb signs. Sound ikosawa, kamawa, gashomba. Shout out to kamawa, gashomba. Kamawa, gashomba, to irakuena sound. So now we can go. So today is on a Tuesday, so today is on a mass day, so today being Tuesday, being mass day, is all about that passion, that motivation, that anger, that lead planet. So by default, the lead planet, whereby now when you are mad, all you can see is red, okay, what are you ready? Atunehete gori, oihurete gori, okay? Now mejijaza sana, all that mass energy, which is warm male energy, it's, it's, it's you... Uh, it's passion, it's motivation, it's aggression, okay? You, f you are feeling aggressive about something. Now, that aggressive, that anger is good for you. So you're supposed to take that anger, okay? And use that hate from that anger. But you're supposed to hate the situation you are in. So now you hate that the fact that you always have to go choose a leader. Now you hate the fact that you cannot even get back to job or to your work because you are so anxious. Now you hate the fact that you have to be under rulership. Now you hate the fact that you have to feel like this. Now you hate a situation or circumstance that you are in. Now you are hating the job that you are in, that you are stuck from 8 to 5. Now you are hating the fact that you have to be in traffic when you should be manifesting better than them. A.K.A. you can be able to fly around in your own private jet. A.K.A. you can be able to afford to have a chauffeur take you around. So you take that hate. You take that hate. Okay? So all that mass energy, you take it, that is Tuesday energy. You take all that hate, hating the situation and the circumstances you are in, hating the current relationship that you are in, but now you make that hate work for you, a.k.a. you hate the situation you are in, so you are willing to use that as motivation to get you out of that space. You get what I'm saying? Now you are in a new space. Now you have manifest a new relationship. Now you have a better boyfriend. Now you have a better life. Now you are manifesting more. So now you no longer have to go and queue and wait for cars and everything. You have your own driver. You have your own residence. You have your own business. So you don't have to be in traffic going to check after your business. You have employed someone. You have a brand. You have something working for you. Whereby all you can do is sit down like them and lift your legs in the air. While people move around, vote for you, die for you. You know, lie on benches for you, but you are still manifesting the most. You have stamps on your passports that allow you to go through gates, a.k.a. passport, diplomatic. You are in that energy of number two, being relatable or being diplomatic. And I, so, uh, I was in the shamba. I was there with a pipe. I had the tonyanya. Okay, so um, even when you are doing that on a Tuesday, because that is the day you are supposed to express yourself more, you express yourself more 
but by hating something around you but you take that as motivation and practice it as a ritual aka i hate the fact that i have to do this to manifest this and that or to be in this situation but i'm gonna use this energy as my motivation as i plant something new as i plant some tomatoes as i plant some good seeds but it's not the tomatoes that i'm planting it's that energy i'm participating in that ritual of planting something so as i'm uh, planting the tomatoes in my dress here but in my imaginations i'm seeing them grow nurtured growing water become big tomatoes but i may look like that is what i'm doing but if you know what you are doing you are a powerful motherfucker so you are planting that energy that mass energy you are doing it you are using it in some ritual some mental issue some mental ritual for yourself and by default god and the universe is going to put you in a place or a person or thing that is going to make you manifest that energy in whichever way shape or form okay whichever way shape or form depending on where you are on the 3d okay on the scale of level of life on a on a on a on a scale on a libra on a weighing machine all that category of libra being mad you know mad wings mean those mad the mad balance is nothing more but a balancing of the wings and those wings are measuring time aka libra constellation is nothing more but okay when you have an equal hours today to an equal hours of night that's libra for you now when you're spiritual enough and you start understanding it from that point you'll understand that is not what you are calling it in kemet story for another day now so i'm making sage okay i'm tying my sage i have all my lavenders here i have my lavenders i have i have my i have my i have my rosemary's uh, shout out to the rosemary's i have my i have all these are imported you know we don't do do imported directly from the shamba right here in kenya a location different location the reason i'm saying it has to be imported is because it has to come packaged produce of kenya in boxes i'm saying so now so i'm doing sage so i'm uh, a lot of people ask for their sage for this sunday so group meeting so i'm working on their sage now working on their sage 20 30 40 bunches i don't know yeah, you have to know what lavender is i'm saying you have to know what lavender is we have sage but that's not for sage that's eucalyptus that's for something different you have more on a video in your like do it that's eucalyptus that's not sage now jega bogo si yaku ne si daithetie muno nego usalia muthenya omwe joni joroge o kuririkania dira kuririkania atire kindu to otherwise if you didn't know anything you'd not be on this world aka if it was not mapped in your dna your gene code your gene there's no way you'd be here because this everything you see is a manifestation of your mind meaning your mind has been there your mind just forgot your mind just fell from the great one now ni woki wadu makiuga back to the roots uh, shout out to von benjamin akauga one step at a time akauga uh, yes one step at a time okay one day at a time is in fact akauga one day at a time shout out to the late von benjamin akai beka may your spirit expand into higher awarenesses of 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 less dense you see you have to help spirits okay you have to help that is how you even help god to experience himself so the being that we are living in the being that we live inside of but we live on its heart chakra aka uh, the fourth house okay that's why we have a sun no yeah no we live in its chakra yeah the heart yeah care yeah so that being we have to help it expand its parameter so that it can also realize that it has fallen how can you drop such such how ni horu rua ni hokeria very soon <laughs> 
shout out to Jane Wax Kawanji, you know, so group teamwork make the dream work. Shout out to uh, Jane Wax Kawanji. So Ruwa Koraru uh, in a few days from now, Hakinya Dota Honore Guaga, Kedo Yeto, no, I win the applause, Jagamu the Kanya Horero, Jagamu the Kanya Horero. Yeah, we're in AI, a program. Okay, a sound card. Now, so okay, we're in applause. Now, do I get So, now I did a hard anya anya. So, do I have vivo? So now, when I'm take, I took the pipe, and since we say water records, okay, water water is in motion, yeah, the motion, the waves that Aquarius that sigil that you have to make. So you are making a sigil, the Aquarius sign, aka a movement of something, becomes a wave that Aquarius, that water, that has movement, connection. So I took the water. Now, what is water? Water is connectiveness. Okay, it's a fluid, it's motion, it's in motion. The water is in motion, and anything that is in motion puts waves into motions whereby now you have emotions aka feelings okay attached and the thoughts that you take to attach to that feeling give it a life so now that water that connectiveness is going into the soil so what is the water doing so the water is acting as a connector okay now this is deep this is deeper than your NASA this is deeper than anything you've had so that water goes to the element earth okay and connects it to a seed air because what is a seed intelligence information so inside a seed you have information the genetic information of that seed that code whether it's a human seed a sperm or whether it's a plant seed a corn whichever you want to call it an avocado so inside that seed is a code a gene code information on how that avocado is gonna get the power of the jigo and be swinging be looking nice to look at shiny like a nice african buttocks you know oiled and everything ready right for picking as you dive into that avocado so all that information is inside the seed the gene code so now when you take the water you are connecting earth element so what is earth earth is an element and the element contains everything that you see, a.k.a. Earth is everything that you see. So when you look around, what do you see? You see growth, nurturing, rest, something going into rest, um, practicability, something being practical, a pattern. So when you look at life, what do you see? Sacred geometry. So what is geometry? A set, mathematical set, order. So that is what earth is so now when you take the seed which is information a code and you attach it to practicability aka making it make sense the element earth that has all the dimensions the growth the measurements and and the shapes and sizes okay and now you take the water motion that aquarius connect it you are, you are calling it irrigation but in actual sense what you are doing you are helping that seed connect with the earth element since water is nothing more but connection so the water acts as a connector a conductor connection fluids motions emotions now yo you makirea yo so ke o jiro so ke rero sage irathi kireria bogo sihano riu Oh, I said, you know, I call the LNS purely for so group, you know. Oh, I'm old to say, I got your work, I got your work, I said, you're saying you, but high esoteric vibes. The next thing, they are the next, they are the next, what you call them, they are the next, um, uh, the next genius, they are the next gates, they are the next, uh, all these uh, geniuses that you have in the world whereby they tap into frequencies aka portals and gates of esoteric wisdom passed to them through the occult and what is the occult what do you call the occult wisdom 
Uwe uwe occult ni waji ya kwetikira. Oh my God, they are occult. They are going to be a cult here. So a cult, that is also where you get culture. So an occult is the owner of the intellectual property right of that cult, that culture. That occult, that hidden. <laughs> How come we are stuck in 2,000 year old religions and lostness and words? And it's so easy to see how it has been hidden in the occult. And what is the occult? The occult is nothing but that which is hidden. <laughs> the behind the scenes. <laughs> and the behind the scenes is who came up with that virtue and principle. Who came up with that, what you call a uh, 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 sigil, a symbol. A hieroglyphics as you create the language so who came up with that whose idea was it was it the idea of your fathers was it the idea of your grandfathers whose idea was it to come up with the heliographics to come up with the sigils and the signs and the symbols for you to call them what you want or for you to practice them so where did they come from did they come up did it come out of you was it something that was external of you was it something that influenced you from outside of you or was it something that was in you so was it on you or was it in you so was your culture in you or were you on your culture i repeat so you in your religion in your culture whatever you are practicing was it something that is in you or is it something that you are on is aka is it something that is external of you or is it something that you have inside of you aka when you sparked that first imagination aka when you became aware for the first time was it in your code was it in your gene code was it in your awareness was it in your surroundings the place you became aware of for the first time aka your location okay the people print uh, places and things that surround you that location okay your bloodline okay aka blood family family group blood type um bloodline so was it something that was in you when you became aware for the first time or was it something that was put on you or something that you picked up so did you pick up your religion or was religion inside you so did you pick up your culture or was your culture inside you so did you pick up a foreign language or was the foreign that you are speaking inside you so um Shout out to the soul group. Shout out to Mojiro Mochene Chat. I'm just gonna shout everybody out. Mojiro Mochene Chat. Shout out to uh, Muradewa, Murari Dewa, Murade, Murari Dewa, Murade Negai. Shout out to uh, Jane Kawax Kawanji. Shout out to uh, Moshiri. Shout out to Goge. Shout out to Muariwa Jega. You know. Shout out to everyone in the soul group. Shout out to anyone who's watching. So now, the decavio. Oh, eh, no sage, no sage, no sage. In here, okay, now disclaimer. So, so, get close. You don't such high vibes. No, call walk your sage. This is, this is, this is, this is an overdose. <laughs> this is a, this is an overdose of esoteric uh, 
Uh, wisdom usoke wekire odoroka kuigata uru soke umodu wa sine nyamute wa soke ya smaji na yo eh? atiru atiru ati nego smaji uni ya metoge uri ati taking away negative energy why, uh, why, why pushing away negative energy why bringing in new energy <laughs> where oh my god so now oh my lord so now Daigwa ni muradhi kura weta kwa my lord. My lord, form 34b, secluded my lord. In your, in your opinion, my lord, daigwa ni muradhi to the courts. <laughs> and you're about to defend the courts. <coughs> uh, you know, you leave it all into the hands of the judicial system. It's a system. All into the hands of a judicial system. Systems collapse. Bitu vi collapsing. Bitu vi collapsing. So now, anyway, back to the video. So you have to understand how rulership is made. Okay? There's no one in this world who is going to die for a country, die for a thing, die for something. They are willing to die, aka not work on their dreams and imagination, but give all that energy to something else. You are willing to die for that thing. You are willing not to go back to work for that thing. So you are willing to give up your soul, your time, your experience, your manifestations for that. That shows you that you are under a rulership. And that mentality of being under a rulership, it has not started now. It has been there. So are you still practicing being a slave of a system now you are no longer a slave of whoever used to enslave you so now they left their their, their their witchcraft on you so they give you a system they came they colonized they took over but then when they gave you your independence they left but they left you their tools they left you their judicial systems they left you their governments they let you how to drive which side of the road to drive they left you the roundabouts they left you their rituals aka where you place the city hall where you place the library the mason and where you place the church the first church built on that land where do you place them so what is that placement so who is still practicing witchcraft on you by leaving you their tools and trades now you continue practicing witchcraft on yourself you continue practicing the witchcraft of we need to be ruled over of I'm going to give the rights and uh, terms and conditions to agree to be ruled by this thing and not that thing. So who gave you that practice? Where's your name? Chegawa Mudhaka. Chegawa Mudhaka ni mboi wa bari ya bu. Chegawa Mudhaka ni edete ya du. Chegawa Mudhaka ni edete wani ya du. Chegawa Mudhaka ego ku agekari au to what you call God's responsibilities. Ah. Ah, Ravenda Fresh. <laughs> I know Ravenda and I do. Lavenda, Lavenda. If I walk with another Nemera Rutoreto, they are Avengers. <laughs> they are Avengers. <laughs> they are Outlanders. It's all in the frequency. What's all going on with you? Reto Lavenda. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> such a beautiful world you can know how to be civilized but this world is fucked up this world is so demonic and i see there we karaoke no death everything when you look around you everything is transforming everything is transforming from one shape to another governments transformations rules overruled so why would you make rules that can be overruled uh, it's a code system or mudaka is called a system okay null and void what uh, <laughs> to null and void we actually null and void lavenda you know mudaka no you are just teaching you are not practicing anything let the mentor do its own practice let that happen in the mentor let that happen in the mind so now that you understand how water works wa water is nothing but connection that is why water and emotions they go together so this helps the plant the seed to connect with the intellect to connect with the periodic table 
to connect with earth tiamat geya okay this being that we live inside nidayo so um sunday we have a soul group meeting because the, the location will be uh communicated location will be communicated the terms and conditions will be communicated uh this one this one for those coming because you're not no one is no one is forced to come <laughs> for those who are coming i can give you a tidbit on what to expect on this one so bring your notebook so now we are going to remind you or we are going to remember together how to create mental strength because at the end of the day omodo othe oragia tiri wa muthaka ingeka atia nigetha undu uyu riu unyihanyihire ingeka atia maundu maya matige gutuika me kokoro me very that impactful on me aka even if i'm going through the valley and the shadow of death i am not afraid aka you are not very hardly impacted so though you are going through a lot of maybe trials and tribulation it is it doesn't look like that for you it's easier okay you are going through less impacts creating mental strength esoterically speaking i'm saying so that will be uh, for so group on sunday power of the mind how to understand self how you move in the spiritual realm the directions how you take directions you know it will be like a one on one guide on how to travel in the spiritual realm and i'm who i still hope the so group that were there last time you are still doing your 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 water in the grass uh dream remembrance rituals okay none you to asemania i'll have testimonies people telling me let me tell you a mudaka what this dream and this ah tell the so group <laughs> tell it to the so group let's share stories have you been dreaming there have you been remembering your dreams you know what i'm saying na maudu mangita mau ena kiuria ni mwaka to cgbo e na oh e e no kadera so e ni andu ingemane da kiria sunday next so group that's why i'm outside here with big boxes of of goodies because so group walisema wanataka i'm saying so walisema wanataka wengi i want is like bring sage so you'll have sage and lavender you'll have white sage and lavender and then you'll have natural sage and lavender okay and then you'll have pure white sage and then we'll have pure wild sage um Uh, we can have a quick question and answer i know you have missed me i know you have missed me let's get annoyed let's get angry with our situations and change so you take that mass energy that aggression and turn it into motivation so you take that aggression and you make it your passion aka you work on yourself passionately you work on 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 the things that on the dreams that you are creating passionately so you don't hate now you are a spiritual guru you know that you are responsible for where you are in life everything you have manifested on you you have manifested on yourself so you don't hate anything you don't cast stones at yourself you know that whatever happens to you happens for you and never against you now that's now learning sp- true spiritual equilibrium now you are becoming aware now you are becoming now you are not casting stones at thyself okay so you are not condemning self okay you are not you are not going against the father your original thought you are not committing the first sin out of your 10 sins eh? you are not having any other gods besides yourself so you know whatever happens you have manifested it on yourself you don't have any other gods apart from yourself you know that you have the power to take yourself out of whatever situation or circumstances that you are facing that it all starts anew it all stands with you 
It all starts and ends with you, nobody else, not even your mother. Your mother doesn't owe you shit. Your father doesn't owe you shit. Though it's good when you're in a family whereby you find the right family people, aka as spirits, you came in the, st in the same space. So this group of spirits that you find, they are willing to work with you. They are relative to you. It's a parent who's willing to go uh, an extra mile for you. So while God is taking one step, you are taking the other. So things are working for you. And it's not all the time that you find people who are basically your relatives. Like true family. It's hard to have your true family in your life. Very few people have true families in your life. You have relatives, a.k.a. the people you are related to when you came here as a, as, as, as a, as a collection of uh, uh, spirits. Uh, um, I'm waiting for a question. I know sometimes you just want me to keep going. <coughs> but I like interactive shows. I like questions so that the questions can tell me where to steer the ship before we go too deep. And now some people cannot swim. Now they get swept under, under, the, under the waves. And it's not good to have people get swept under the waves. So it's always good to take people at their own pace. It's not for everyone. Some people love to be asleep and you know by example even you when you're sleeping and someone comes and tries to wake you by force you get disappointed you get angry you have been awakened before your time that can create frustration that can create hate but hate is a good thing but instead of you taking your hate your mass energy and directing it at hating the thing that has made you asleep you turn that hate into hating Jagawamudaka uh, you are hating on my content instead of hating on that which has put you in that state of sleeping. Now you are directing your hate in the other in the wrong direction. But I can transmute that energy. So you keep hating. Me, I'll keep taking that energy and transmuting it into hating my situation and circumstances. To hating the fact that, that I've been lied to for so long. Okay, I'm going to use that hate into hating my situation my trials and tribulations, so I use it as fuel, so I'm transmuting that energy, and by default, in the spiritual world, in my mind, in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, that puts my spirit in a bigger awareness of not hating, and if you're not hating, you're in that energy of love, which is nothing but a frequency, love is not even a good thing, it's a frequency that you can tap into, okay, so now you can tap into that frequency by default, and in that frequency, it's the fact that you ha it's, it, the frequency carries things like self-validation, which is good for you. The frequency carries um, uh, uh, virtues and principles of um, um, you wanting um, to be in a situation and circumstance whereby uh, you are loving it there. You are, you, are, you are agreeing to the terms and conditions there. And though they don't become you, but at least... You decide how much you want to participate in that energy. So, though you are willing to use that thing, you still don't agree to its terms and conditions, but you are willing at a percentage to use it, to use that love at a percentage, but not to become love, because you can never be love. You can never become love, because that's something you do not understand. That's a frequency you do not understand, because in love, you know love kills, okay? You know love brings trials and tribulations. Love can make you gullible. AKA, love can make you too relatable, the energy of number two, whereby now you have people using you. Okay? Now you have people who are using you. So since we know that love can go in so many directions, we know by default that you're not supposed to be love. You're just supposed to use love at a percentage. So you're picking on the right things. You're deciding how to love, where to love, what percentage to put into that love but you're not becoming love so you have to learn how to use everything aka transmute that energy like a bitch so i'm waiting for a question lavender is plenty lavender is so plenty sometimes i sweep with lavender i sweep with lavender area lavender boozy i will sweep higher Imagine you get sweep na lavender. 
I'm sitting with lavender. I'm sitting with lavender. Oga soko kame ikarira. Oka umeria na yo. Shout out to the late, uh, <laughs> to the late Monjiro Abaria Mega. Shout out to that great spirit. May his spirit ascend to lighter, less dense uh, frequencies. Au ga ona go akio boka na kia toko ria kia bu du perish. I should have made him a lavender broom. I should have made him a lavender broom. I shouldn't have. <laughs> Now he knows. Wherever he is, Neamenya, Jegamu the Karas, and that's how you help spirits. You don't condemn them. You don't summon them. You don't feel sorry for them. You tell them how things are. And by default, they may come around that frequency and be like, ah, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> this is what I was looking for for 2,000 years. <laughs> And lostness. Kuretayo. So I'm waiting for questions. No, no, no. Tigotoma kioria. For interact. I'm waiting for interaction. I'm saying so. I'm waiting for anything we can. Dayo. Oh no, caravan. I think it looks like you're going to no modo ari no modo kariuki wa boro oh bogo ah uh, today i put an ar instead ya bogo kariuki wa boro kariuki wa bogo kariuki wa bogo kariuki wa boro bogo boro oro go yurugu go boro mo Hey, bo bogo, karaoke wa bogo, bogo, boro, bogo, boro, yurugu, okay, wa yurugu, okay, wa morogo wa akimari, that frequency. You know what I'm saying so you have to understand where that word comes from, that word bogo, that word boro, what frequency is that? Ah, what the kodoko gyo gyo gwa makeme ita kirea makame ita yurugu. In Africa, we had the Yurugu. So, the, the Yurugu, a very great book, I think, written by uh, by Clark, Clark, something, Clark. You know, I don't have to read all these books. I already know what is in the book. So, Clark, because once you see the word, once you see the Yurugu, you don't even need to go into the books. So, you take the word Yurugu, you break it down, you, okay, making a you, meaning doing a 360. A U, a U turn, going back. So Yurugu, so you making a 360 turn, which can be a, a reflection. Okay? It can be an inversion. It can be bending in on yourself. Light bending in on itself, becoming darkness. So Yurugu, so you, Ru. Okay? Still the same. Okay? The same 360. But now, this one has another frequency of hakuna So it has that r, that r. Shout out to the challenge. You have to understand that frequency. So that, what frequency is that? And then the end is GU. Seven. Gadrel. All that frequency of G. Seven. U. So now, the Urugu, you don't even have to go and buy the book. You don't even have to. And then you look, who's the other? So when you look at the other, you look at what are they fighting for? So what kind of emancipation of mental slavery are they trying to defend? So you look at what was he, a scholar? So what was he going against? That system. So what is that system? A rulership. So what is that rulership? What is the mentality behind a rulership? People wanted to be ruled under. It's all Kemet. It's all Egypt. It's all the story of slaves. So Egypt was nothing more but slavery. So for you to know slavery, you had to be in Egypt. So Egypt is slavery. Now, 
when you go to what we call um my back is hurting when you go to what we call um um what do you call it god's truth square you can google god's truth square on google so when you go to god's truth square on google now when you take i, I made a video i showed you how you see how africa is blessed from that mason um square and how inverted you can see america is cast okay the great babylon the babylon and then you can see the gifts that go to asia and the blessings that come to harm africa okay god's truth square google god's truth square on google it's there on google it's, they don't even hide it google god's truth square then there's a pdf it's a small pdf i think it's my uh, i think it's like six pages so now you go to the uh, that's better so you go to the six pages then you find god's truth square then right there you are going to see that egypt is slavery it's in god's truth square before i even i didn't even know i would find it now you have found it with you here because i was talking about egypt being slavery kumbe hata sasa kwa god's truth square nimekumbuka even on god's truth square egypt is slavery where shout out to my spiritual predecessors where shout out to my 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 ancestors who came before me and left footprints in the sand for me to see so i'm learning from the footprints in the sand for the spirits that were there though they were in the same location but now i am back with more awareness so i'm back where we were 2000 years ago in the age of aquarius now but i'm back more aware so shout out to those kind of spirits that guide me that show me those footprints in the sand that even when i keep going i'm coming back with a more awareness meaning there's two brains here now we have their brain because you see how they run the world and now there is us so that means we can also build like they are building we can also build rulerships we can also build um mentalities we can also be the next noahs we cannot be sitting back and just let them be getting away with everything oh constantine oh jefferson oh 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 gates eh oh 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 trump oh obama oh mentality oh noah oh ezekiel vision we can also have our visions we can also take over the world esoterically speaking and when you are taking over the world what you have to get in shape first is your mind your mental you don't care about the body the body will decay this body will be gone but your mind your mentality what you are aware of is the bubble that you be living with your spirit so when you are lying there when you are lying there down and your solar plexus your phoenix is rising aka when your phoenix is rising from the ashes when you are done from dust to dust ashes to ashes so in your ashes when you get burned if you are muslim okay that ash out of the ashes a phoenix will rise out of the ashes the phoenix your mentality your mind as a spirit your awareness we rise and then the 5000 witnesses will be witnessing aka your bodies the ones that are dying and decaying and whatever the flesh behind because the flesh always has to die behind even all the way to being cremated to ash there's still some residue aka on a muhu is still a residue is still a remainder is still a, a, a memory so that memory of what you have is the 5000 witnesses watching your jesus rise watching your phoenix rise watching your mentality rise so if your mentality is so big that there's no other mind that can contain it into this world it has by default has to be incarnated aka birthed into something new something that now can contain that mind aka a nova soul aka an angel aka a moon a star something beyond this physical body but if you don't know that you keep reincarnating into the same bullshit the same mentors the same religions the same governments the same things that you are familiar with so there's no growth for you there's only spiritual stagnation and if you're not busy growing you are busy dying and dying 
is just you falling so that dying is just you going back to your roots shout out to the rastafarians going back to the roots so going back to the roots may seem like it's such a good thing because you are going back to the fathers going back to osokere mokaro but you should go back as an example to see how they were coming up with the interpretations of the world then not go back as in history and leave that time otherwise the more go back you go the more you learn why you are separating from that because the more you dig into the past the more you realize that you are slaved the more you realize that you are oppressed the more you realize that you that they came with guns and and with guns and sheep and whatever so far away so the moment you realize that the more you go back it takes you back to why you are running away from that so the reason you are here in the modern world with having taken crumbs of what you can call freedom is still because you are running away from self slavery though still you are still slaves under their systems their applications their themes their governments their entertainments their rulership since you are still under their rulerships protectorates and everything you are still a slave but in a better place because 2000 years after the shift you are still a slave but a slave who's more aware so so you are more so you are back where you are 2000 years ago but you are more aware of your slavery but your slavery is not as bad as it was back in the day and that's how you know that if you are aware that you are a slave and you get yourself of that mentality then maybe the next shift you'll be more aware on how they control the world and be the one doing it for yourself individuality creating something new teamwork make the dream work not go against other people not go casting ballots not going voting not going trying to change a rulership since you cannot change a rulership because any person who's under a rulership is still practicing that virtue and principle of ruling ruling people ruling people who look just like him aka practicing witchcraft on the same people who look like like you practice with practicing witchcraft on your own mother practicing witchcraft on your own sister practicing witchcraft on your own brother but calling it a uh, democracy whatever you want to call it sijui moti pate sijui single pate sijui what system is all the same bullshit so the same minds is all the same mentality is all the same rulership is all this way is still the same slaves under a system a rulership kuri dayo atri modu oriyo do dayo nyoba mojiro mochene chat dayo shout out to mojiro mochene chat shout out to kumana oriyo do so um so now you understand how um we are about when you made it we keep flowing you know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter why do we have rules that you have to you have to put your your information in a paragraph 1 2 a program 3 no me i flow me i'm tapping from direct from the source I flow and it makes sense and it even makes sense better than your pastor who has been in theology for 30,000 years and I make it so simple that a 3 year old like Nyambura can understand you don't need theology for 30 years theology to understand yourself lostness you understand how lost you are don't need theology like you need someone to teach you how lost you are the same thing that is happening with our men complaining about women Why do you tell to me about the total wreck? Why do you want us to take all these women? Hmm? At the high men are googling how to talk to a woman at the high so they leave it hanging high and then one year later after watching 20,000 videos on what to write to type after high and Google tells them they want to type after high is how is your weather so now you texted the woman high because you didn't have enough guts to say what you wanted so now you left it hanging high then five months later you want to come and add because now you have gone to google to see what to add uh, how is the weather so now six months later you are adding how is the weather <laughs> oh my god this world 
<laughs> yani hapo ndio tumefika now you have frustrated men who even when they see women in socks they get angry hawezi fa socks kama hizo in public how dare she just because you have blue balls just because you no longer use thought just because you can no longer utilize your thought on what to text after hi you have to wait for six years you have to text for six months on what to type next because you have to go to google to be told how to talk to a woman <laughs> Now you are coming six months later <laughs> to add to follow up on your high. How is the weather? Hey, the weather is Jagawa Mubaka. <laughs> I'm raining on her. Boys three there. Okay, boys three there. Ne kuwa yetu raaria. Ina neta wakiria. Ne mak ne ne. I imagine we are speaking like this and it's on a Tuesday. Uh, we are hitting our we are practicing a ritual hitting our position too much but we use that hate okay to hate our circumstance and situation and to be able to see it so that we are not there so we are transmuting that energy to the point even on a tuesday i'm in the energy of mercury also i'm channeling mercury energy aka i'm still able to communicate aka when you become a spiritual guru you use everything like a bitch you use even the energies of the date to your own advantage it doesn't matter what the energy is now you are transmuting the energy now you becoming a spiritual guru and now you becoming neo from the matrix you becoming the one ask jetri jaga ku be no rhyme eh how are you oga neo from the matrix e one wa medievals oga ask the one like jetri ah uh, wamudaka you have a play with words you can play with words wamudaka it takes intelligence to play with words okay kore dayo ah ago ke wathiri undu muraoria no to the undu ngi uge muhithe ni thayo ni kona ora thayo wakanda wakanda i'm just reminding you wakanda wakanda you know everything you in this world you just forgot we all fell we all forgot for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son <laughs> for the world loved the world for god your mind your mentality that he gave his only begotten son his only begotten descended thought his only begotten descended thought that who should ever shall believe in that descended thought shall not perish that first thought that first thought and feeling that first adam and eve that first gekoyo and mombi vishnu and and shiva uh, 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 whatever you want to call it okay so that thought and this is where we get the commandment thou shall have no other god beside me so the first thought and feeling that comes to you that's your adam and eve So instead of pondering yet the first thought and feeling has come is like this is true. So now you start pondering, wasting time and now you are second guessing it. So now you are committing uh whatever what do they call it to God. Uh, uh thou shalt have, have no other god beside me. What do you call that? Whatever you call it language. So now you are doing that instead of saying thank you. And this is deep eh? And uh, this this and I'll go see and dad can hear so group so I can put it out there it's not that deep now so you're supposed to be in gratitude all the time so when you receive something the first thing you do you don't question it you say thank you so the first thought and feeling shout out to moradi the wanya go there to ogere ne tha ne gai so the first thing that happens to you say ne gai because whether it's happening for you or not against you it's your spirit that has led you there So whether it's a lesson and when you admit a guy what it means is that you are lessening the impact on you even if it's not it's not a good thing but now you have lessened the kivoko kino wa kihoro here to no wete kira it's you you are you are you are the responsible for your situations and circumstances so you don't you 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 being responsible accepting responsibility of that meaning now you can take that responsibility and decide how it's going to impact you is it something you are going to learn from or is it something that is going to be heavy and impact you to the point now it puts you down it becomes a shoulder or burden on your shoulders stressing you stress you down so that's how you 
understand that first commandment of that shall have now that God beside me by trusting your first thought and feeling so that you don't kill your own begotten son aka you don't kill your own begotten uh, first thought that came down here S U N below the horizon the fall okay Kurega ayo sione jaga wa mudaka jaga wa mudaka nere ti andu juga go ngeda kurekia video gasoga kora dina rekia Ati muru na udoge Looks like there's no one who has anything to add or ask so we can get back to